twice, but it's okay, it's dead. So, Indominus Rex did what it did. We, I mean, that's the way you play Indominus Rex. You sh oh. Excuse me? Mabu, hi! How you doing? I, I can't remember how to say my name is now. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Jurassic World Alive! Um, where I have, well, I've, you know, I've just been continuously playing the game as I do. And this is like the first episode I'm wearing like, yes, fun fact, well, it might, might be interesting, but in England, we don't call it Waldo. Where's Waldo? We call it, where's Wally? I think that's Europe as well. I could be wrong. But anyway, that's not what you're here for. No, 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 no. You're here for, of course, Jurassic World Alive. Um, there hasn't really been many changes, even though the game continues to update every, like, other day with 200 megabytes, which is very good. I uh, hope that just fixes and stuff. Um... And I, I've been like slowly, like I've had the same team, but I don't know what it is. I just keep on going down now, <laughs> like in the rankings, which I'm all, I'm all fair for. Also in the last episode, I want to address, now I thought that po Pokemon, this guy, or po whatever you want to call him, um, I thought that was like a, a bot. I'm used to just going through like seeing the top players. I might have mentioned this in the last episode. I'm used to going through the top players and just sit, thinking they're all bots. But right, this is a real dude who plays it continuously, a real person. Um, so c congrats for uh, getting that high. That's crazy to have level level 20 in Dominus makes sense. Um, now the other ones, like level 25 Adestas, I could see that because recently what I've noticed is that some dinosaurs are way more common than others now. Like, Rez, I see Postosuchus a lot now. I mean, even if we would just go here, there he is, <laughs> just off in the distance. Um, I see a lot of Postosuchus, I see a lot of Amargosaur, I see a lot of, um, not so much Caprosuchus. Caprosuchus evades me now. Uh, Dimetrodon's another common one. Um, I'm trying to think of other ones that are quite common, but to be honest, there's a lot of Rez that I used to never see, and now I do, so... Thank you, Lydia. Very good. Uh, so what I'm going to try to do today, fingers crossed, is... Oh, yeah, sorry. I went out and I got the Dilophosaurus events. Hopefully, I'll put the footage up. I completely forgot. Is it there? It's probably there, isn't it? Am I doing it the right way for once? Because I usually do it that way. I think it's this way. So there was um, a, an incubator event. There was a legendary incubator. Uh, two rares, actually. Two of the same Dilophosaurus incubators. And, and uh, like a sort of clear one. I didn't get the clear one, um, but I was like, oh yes, Dilophosaurus. Yeah, I could finally get the Dilophosaur hybrid. This will be perfect. Um, you know what ended up happening? I opened up all of them and because you get like three incubators because there's two like mini prizes and then the big one. And it, I, so I opened six incubators. Out of all of them, only like the first one gave me 27 Dilophosaurus. All the others, not the Lophosaurus. Don't even know why it was post, like, plastered its face all over the incubator. Wasn't there. It didn't even face it. It was like Ulicosaurus, Coolasuchus, or Pyroraptor. It was like a mixture of the, I think there was another one I'm forgetting. Um, but yeah, every single one was not the Lophosaurus. I was like, oh, maybe it's a glitch because they duplicated the yeah, rare incubator. So maybe, oh, maybe this was a glitch and that was supposed to be something else. And this was supposed to be the Lophosaurus. But each one, didn't matter what I did, no Lophosaurus. So still, no, don't have it. Now, I think the problem with my team is that I think I need to switch out that for uh, Stegoceratops. Because Stego Stegoceratops is really good. Um... And I think the other ones are pretty... Uh, maybe I could switch out maybe Megalosuchus or Dimetrodon. But they're still pretty high. We've got, what, three level 20s in there. It, it's a decent team. But the thing is, can we get Indoraptor? So close. So close. If I, really, if I was really wanting it, I could go out and spend a day. And I could just go round and round, go on my bike, and just find T-Rexes or just, you know rattle through the incubators, spending loads of bucks. But it's not, that's not kind of what I want to do. What I want to do is just do it legit in my own time. And therefore, I'll be like, yeah, I did it. Although, you know, I do I do play it every now and again. Um, I like, it was one, it wasn't last night, but it was a couple nights ago. I just opened my phone and there was like a T-Rex off in the distance. I was like, God damn it. <laughs> but we have 9,000 Raptor DNA now because I did get like 3,000 from one of the incubators of Raptor. And we have... 378 of T-Rex. So that is seven pops, I think. Five, six, seven. Yes, I think it's just seven. Close to eight. 
But what we need is 250 Indominus Rex maximum. That's what we need to get into Raptor. If we get that, we're sword. Uh, the one we'll probably run out of is Velociraptor. Ooh, now we need 50 Indominus Rex DNA. Um, to give a pop at the Indoraptor. Now, I'm going to go... As soon as I have 50, I'm going to go back into the Indoraptor and try it. Because I don't want to waste it. Because uh, we need... Like, each pop for the Indoraptor for Velociraptor DNA is, I think, 2,000. I think it's 2,000 DNA or maybe 1,000. So it's quite a lot. Um, please be more than 10. Oh, well, there it is. Here's our first try at Indoraptor. Um, now, we are pretty close. All we need is a flat... 50. It's not too much to ask for. Just please not 10. See, it's 2,000. So 2, 4, 6, 8. We got four chances. But really, we need to spend 500 at a pop for the Indo Indominus Rex. So come on. 50, please. 50. 50. Oh, yes! Guys, we're going to get Indoraptor. Yes! Oh, my God. We're going to get Indoraptor. I'm going to get Indoraptor. <laughs> okay. Now, I mean, it might go south here. We may just get 10s. All we need is a 50, and it's guaranteed Indoraptor. Are we going to get Indoraptor? Okay, okay, that's fine. Worst comes to worst, we've got at least three more chances, which is 30 DNA. 40, there you go. How about that? Guys, we just got Indoraptor. We just freaking got Indoraptor. Yes, come on. I mean, even if it's 10. Of course it's 10. <laughs> there it is! Indoraptor create! Hell, guys, this is it. This is our first unique dinosaur. We, I, I freaking worked hard for this. <laughs> we, I mean, like ever since it was released and I've played it as a casual player, it's bordering on hardcore, I'd say. But mainly it's like, you know, I'll go out my way. I'd say I'm not more, I'm, I'm probably not a casual player, but let's do it. Indoraptor. First ever Indoraptor in Jurassic World Alive. There it is. Oh, oh, that looks gorgeous. 2,900 health, 1,097 attack, 128 speed, really good. Critical chance, 20%. Nice. Um, and there it is. So now all we need is 100 to level up. No, I don't want to raid it, man. <laughs> oh my god, it looks so good. I kind of just want to put... Actually, can I? Oh, no, I've got a back on this. If I could place Indoraptor down on a bench or something, I can now do that. So there it is. Oh, it looks good. It looks kind of like um, the one from Jurassic World Evolution. I wonder if it's, if, like, Universal gave Ludia and Frontier the model from the film. And just like, you know, they just tweaked it to make it like fit in their game. So I'm going to click it because a lot of people have always asked me, please click so we can see the animations. Oh, it looks awesome. And so there's two animations. So this is the second one. Oh, <laughs> it's so good. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. So, I mean, there we go. We may as well use the rest of the T-Rex DNA up. Um, I say that, I think T-Rex has another uh, hybrid. I think it's the one with the Ankylosaur and Kentrosaur hybrid, I think. But, oh, there you go, another 30. So that's another pop for the Indoraptor. But we don't have 2,000 uh, Raptor DNA, unfortunately, for that. Yeah, there it is, the Trichosaurus. So Indoraptor joins team level 21, it's the highest level. So what I'm gonna probably switch out for is, ooh, probably, ah, ooh, e. <laughs> You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna switch out that. I could have switched out to Metrodon. I'm kind of okay. Dimetrodon's a good health tank, I'd say. There we go. We have Indoraptor. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. So, these other dinosaurs that we've got. Um, do I have a chance to try for this one? The uh, Del Deloronosaurus? No, I don't. Okay. Um, but the Kendrosaur has a hybrid. And that... Oh, God. Don't, don't click fuse. Is this one. So, we may as well get this. I think this, guy, this is pretty good. Um... Because it used to be kind of a staller for no apparent reason. It was just like instant invincibility, long shield. Um, it was like short, like when it nerfed your attack by a load, it was just like, oh my god, just die. <laughs> but now it has a counter strike, so a counter attack, uh, which makes it pretty decent. Um, eight, whoa, okay, 80. Wow, there it is. Okay, so that's Ankh, Ankh, Trike, Ankh, Ankhintrosaurus? 
Well, there is. Oh, so not only do we have Indoraptor in this episode, we've also got this 2,892 and 614 attack, 30% armor, 5% crit, so it's kind of normal. Oh, we can get a level 17. Let's go. Let's go. Chances are we could very easily get this to level 17. Oh, just one more 20. One more 20, and there we go. Come on. There it is. Awesome. So how much is that? 15,000. That's not too bad for level 16. There we go. We'll get that, and... Uh, oh, I was going to say, you're going to do it? <laughs> so 145 extra health, 31 extra attack, and let's have a check. So I think this guy needs to be level 20. Um, so nullifying strike, which is good, because that means it can take on Indominus Rex. Um, the instant invincibility, which is also really good. Instant cripple, thagomizer, and counter attack passive. This is a tank that can basically put an end to any sort of creature's... Anything that's like a Velociraptor, anything that's like Indominus Rex, I would assume. I'm pretty sure Ankylosaurus is another hybrid. Yeah, the Ragicolosaurus, which we, I mean, we need more uh, Ragicosaurus if we want to give that a shot. So I'm tempted to put that in instead of Megalosuchus. They're about the same. I'm happy to do that. That is a pretty decent team. And not only that, I spoil you, we've got incubators to open as well. Um, so we'll just open these. Can't believe finally Indoor Raptor. I can't wait. We'll do some battles as well. Of course, we need to see it. How much about we're not gonna <laughs> just not gonna pick it. I'm not stopping this video until we've seen it, so don't worry guys. So 57 irritator, that's good, because we're starting to work towards something. Um, second onosaurus, I would love T-Rex. Oh, Stiggy Moloch, we're going for that Stiggy. And the rare, uh, oh, Spinosaurus, I'm seeing loads of as well. So 3,000 coin. Oh, ooh, more Gallimimus. Uh, Tarbosaurus. Uh, ooh, uh, Echo, okay. And Gen 2 Cooler Sutures. Those at the moment, I'm pretty sure don't have any hybrids. So, like, look at that. 2,000 Amargosaurus, 2,000 Megalosaurus. Oh, Uteraptor, I see a lot of. Um... There's, so there, there is a lot. Um, I'm pretty sure Stiggy Moloch actually has a hybrid, so we may as well level up there. The Power Moloch, so 8,000 coin. It's not wasted because it's getting somewhere. Um, and there it is. So Power Moloch, I think that is... Uh, oh, wow, we can start working towards it if we wanted to. Um, oh, God, what did I click on? Spinosaurus. Uh, no, we don't want to do that, do we? <laughs> um, so really... As far as other dinosaurs go, I'm pretty sure this has a hybrid. It's the para... Oh, the tri Trigotus. It's pretty decent, actually. Uh, but yeah, that, that's enough of getting new dinosaurs. I think it's about time that we settle down and see what Indoraptor can do. And even check its attacks. Why don't I check its attacks? <laughs> Indoraptor. Yes! Okay, let's start it. Let's start Indoraptor. Ooh, it's gonna be good. Oh, yes! <laughs> that's right, Prowl. Oh, God. Okay. So this is interesting. What are these attacks? What is that one? Uh, cleansing impact, cleanse self and deal damage. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, and evasive stance. Gain 50% chance to dodge direct damage for three turns. May as well do it. It's a priority and it does damage. Oh, no, it doesn't. Ah, never mind. That was a bad decision. <laughs> Basically, this thing's going to kill me. It's it's an Indoraptor Indominus Rex stopper. Um, so I'm going to do this. We're going to go for... Defense Shattering Rampage, do a lot of damage, times two. Oh, wow. And I think, we're, are we immune or is Indoraptor? Oh, Indoraptor's dead. <laughs> I don't think Indor Indoraptor has immunity. So, oh, wow. We have got tanks for days. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's try the new dinosaur as well. Um, so, what we'll do here, he's probably going to try and stun me. I'm going to go for a cripple. I'm going to go for an instant cripple. Because we're going to get a... Um, yeah, I thought it was a stunning impact. We're going to get... As long as we're not stunned. Yeah, there you go. Medium. Awesome. Um, and now I'm going to go for the shield. Is it long protection? Oh, it's instant invincibility. Ooh. Oh, no. But he'll have a normal attack. So it doesn't matter what we do. Okay. Yeah. Because I think his normal is null... Oh, nullifying impact. Even that. So we have to be a bit careful here. Um, now we're going to hit him back. Now, if they don't, like, flinch when they get hit with that, they're going to die on the next turn. That's something that I think Ludia still needs to work out. So that if you're looking for some little glitches to fix, you can do that one. 
<laughs> okay, so that, off to a bad start. I I mean, if it was one dinosaur we were going to face up against that I was a bit annoyed to face, it was probably that one with Indoraptor. Because that, oh, long invincibility. Now, this is interesting because I think both these dinosaurs have a counterattack. Or do they? Yeah, minor counterattack. Okay, this is... This, this is going to be an interesting battle. Um, I'm going to go for... The, <laughs> this is going to be... So I go for instant invincibility. He's going to hit me. And then... Oh no, his is worn off. Oh, he got a crit for... And he stunned me, unfortunately. Um, that means I'm... Oh my god, this is going horrendously. Oh no! <laughs> wow, okay. Um, if they could put in dinosaurs to take out my dinosaurs, they're doing well. A tank to store my tank. And... A counter for my Indoraptor. Um, but it's not all over. We're going to instant cripple. Now, this I mean, this is what you do with this dinosaur. Is that you... you oh, okay. So, he's going to slow me down. Uh, but we're going to get a medium counter attack. Right. Um, what do we do? We'll slow him down. Now, his rampage... We do have a 30% shield, though. Oh, but he's going to kill us with his uh, counter attack. But at least we slow him down. Yeah, that, this is a war of attrition, this one. <laughs> There's no outright, like, oh, yeah, he got the kill. So, oh, just go back and forth. Da, da, da. Um, so, I'm going to go for Stegodus. Now, it really depends what he's going to go for here. So, he's already slow. I'm going to get my shield up because he could go for instant invincibility. Um, he's probably going to do that with the next attack, I think. I think that's what he's going to go for. So, he cleanses himself of the... Um, the speed debuff. Oh, there, there's the dog. He's hungry. He's woken up. He's starting to bark earlier and earlier. What time is it? 20 to 4? What are you doing, man? So I think he's going to go... Oh, no, he didn't. As long as we're not stunned here, he should be dead. And we're stunned here. So fantastic. Okay, now he's probably going to go for instant invincibility. And this is a really bad fight. <laughs> it's like... it's the, the computer's done everything. Everything in its way to predict me. To outmaneuver me. In ways that humans cannot do. It's like, oh yeah, you, you're going to put Indirector out first? I'm going to put out the counter. Oh, you got this? Ah, oh, well, I've got the counter for that as well. Come on, give me a chance. Jesus. Uh, he's still got inst instant invincibility, so he's going to go for that. Now, it doesn't matter because... Oh, well, if I cleansed myself and I'd gone for the other one. Oh, oh okay. So, right, minor counterattack. Now, I may as well go for my shield. I'm not out yet. Because I, I have two of these tanks. Um, I'm going to cleanse myself and go for the hit. Okay. That's good. That's good. We're, we're doing good here, guys. So, this is where things get interesting. Um, he goes first. He's going to go for slowing impact. He does. Okay, 880. Okay, that's interesting. So, we're gonna I'm going to go for that. Now, because he didn't kill me with that, his stun... Um, oh, my dog is also barking like crazy downstairs. <laughs> Shouldn't... Oh, wait, he went even for this one, so it's definitely not going to kill me. Uh, but he got that. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to have to switch to my uh, Stegoceratops. He goes for Stunning Impact, which is not what I really wanted to face up against. He didn't get the stun, which is good. I'm going to go for th um, the Slowing Impact. Now, we should have killed him. Yeah, we've killed him. So he's just going to go for a regular minimal stunning. Um, hopefully, we don't get stunned here. 10% chance. Don't get stunned. Now, he's going to switch out here. So... I'm going to go for the um, the greater stun. He's, yeah, there you go. Ooh, Stegosaurus. An interesting choice. Level 20, so it is a big threat. We get... Okay, we could win this. We could win this. Okay, so stun. Get, so he's already been stunned. Get this stun. Bam. Okay, now uh, go for this one. He's going to go for the Thagomizer. Please don't kill me. I don't think I've killed him here. I don't think I've killed him. It's close! It's close! Can I survive? No, I can't survive! Oh, no, even if I switch to Stegodus, I can't survive. Oh, that was close. Good game. Oh, Superiority Strike. I didn't realize uh, Stegosaurus now has that. Well, I think I played the best I could. I probably should have switched out Indo Raptor as soon as I saw that. <laughs> as soon as I saw that other one. Uh, so there we go. We dropped down even further. Fantastic, isn't it? Okay. T Rex versus Indominus. This is a good matchup. Um, because no matter what, I've killed him. Um, and I've survived. Oh, man, that might have killed me. <laughs> I'm not sure. But I'm going to go for this one and kill him. Um, it doesn't matter what. Even if he switches out, there's a good chance I can kill whatever comes in. He shouldn't switch out. He should be dead. Um, 
And no matter what comes in next, I'm doing a big hit to it. And Indominus Rex shouldn't die in one hit. So there you go. I mean, we are five levels higher. Normally, that shouldn't have killed a level 20 T-Rex, but it was a level 15, so we're, we're a little bit higher up. Uh, I'm kind of interested to know when this reset of the uh, trophies or cups is going to happen. Utah Raptor. Ooh, that's... Ooh, well, I mean, it's kind of wasted, but we do kill it. Okay, it's level 21. Why have a level 21 Utah Raptor? I mean, of course, it's going to do 2,100... Oh, there you go. 2,100 damage, but it's kind of frail. And surely you'd want to put that into Velociraptor because it's quicker? I mean, it's these bots, you whatever. <laughs> Um, so, oh, now this has a counter-attack. Uh, oh, wow, we can't do anything. He probably is going to put up his um, shield. Yeah, the short defense. So he's going to do... Yeah, we're dead. We're dead. He's going to... I think it's a maximal. It must be a maximal. Oh, we get lucky with the crit, so that's nice. And it is a maximal. Okay. So we need something that can debuff him. Um, and really, the only one we have is the Dimetrodon. I know, right? You said, why has he got Dimetrodon in his team? Well, this is the reason. Because <laughs> it's really... Uh, it's Well, it can go through shields. It's got a load of health, actually, for something that could do a fair amount of damage. Um, and, yeah, look at that. I can just tank it. So we're going to go for the crit. He's probably going to switch, knowing that he's going to die no matter what I do. Um, I mean, that's what I would do if I was in his shoes. Let's see what he does, though. I love the tremble of the Dimetrodon sail, like, when it roars, like, <laughs> And it's not going to do anything. Okay. Well, are we going to get the crit? I never get the crit. I never get the crit with Dimetrodon. I don't know what it is. I mean, it's... I think I only get, like, a 5% chance anyway. So there we go. We're clawing our way back up to the ruins of Nublar. <laughs> we'll do another battle. I, I mean, we need to see Indoraptor again, right? I mean, we have to. I want to... I, just want to make it win, <laughs> if anything. Apparently we're glitching out. There we go. Okay. Come on, Indoraptor. Indoraptor, please. Yes. Oh, that's a good team. Oh, that's a good team. Okay, we're going to start with... You go Indoraptor, Velociraptor, Indominus Rex, and a counter. Um, so this is a strike team. Uh, ooh. Very good. We can kill it in two turns. It can't kill us in two turns, but it's fairly dead. <laughs> so we have 50% 50, 50 chance to miss. He didn't, unfortunately. Um, we have to go for the big hit, and that's going to kill him. Now he's going to go for the stunning impact. Unless he goes for greater. Hopefully, nope, he goes for stunning. He knows that we're immune. Oh, we got unlucky twice, but it's okay. It's dead. So Indominus Rex did what it did. We, I mean, that's the way you play Indominus Rex. You sh oh. Excuse me? Nobody's seeing this but me. What the hell just happened? <laughs> so... What? <laughs> okay, I mean... Right, okay, well, Indoraptor, go in. Kill it! Kill the clone! Right, so... This has been known to happen. Okay, so you know what? I'll go for the evasive strike. You know, we may as well. We might have a chance to miss. He's gonna go for stunning impact. Um, does get the hit, unfortunately. Wow, Indoraptor, you were not having a good time of it, really. <laughs> uh, but there you defense shattering rampage. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Okay, we still uh, have a chance to dodge, so that's good. Um, now, 954. Um, that. Oh, we kill it with a regular. Nice. What do you think? Is it gonna be another Stegoceratops? Is it really... Now, what you can do... Oh, it's a Velociraptor. We're not as quick as a Velociraptor. So, he's going to kill us. That's okay. Velociraptor or... You know what? We're not going to stand for it, are we? No, he's going to do like 1,900. So it doesn't matter what I do. I may as well just take the hit. Yeah, he's going to kill me. Uh, sorry, Indoraptor. No! <laughs> oh, it has the sound effects as well of the movie. That's awesome. Okay, but we're going to put in our Velociraptor. Now, unless he switches, he's dead. So, whoever goes first, we should go first, because it's definitely a bot. <laughs> well, it doesn't really matter. They're all bots anyway. If you needed any more proof that you face bots, Enzo eat blood. There you go. 11? Why do I only get 11 cups for that? What happened? Hold on. Okay, so now now we can go on to here, um, and we can uh, we can go all the way down to recent opponents, which is down here. Now it now he's called Scaris. 
uh, view profile. Um, does not have two Stegoceratopses. Now, probably what happened there was I exited the game, went back in, and he was replaced with a bot. That's why it had a different name, and that would make sense. And maybe that's a reason for you guys to still believe that we face real players. I would love to believe that we face real, real opponents. Um, I still don't think that maybe they have the service for that to host and stuff like that. But anyway, guys, there it was. Indoraptor. Um, I mean, it seems like... It's, you play it a bit like Indominus Rex, except for, I don't, you don't get, like, the cloak, you do double damage. With the evasive strike, um, you have, you know, it's two turns, really, because that one's included as the th as this third to uh, have a 50% chance to dodge. But what we'll do is we'll just quickly look, because I, I just want to have, a, like, an overview of it. So... 0% uh, armor, 20% critical, so that's pretty darn good, especially if you've got defense shattering rampage for two times. So this is what it is, ev 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 evasive stats, that's the big uh, game changer here. So you uh, you gain 50% chance to dodge direct damage for three turns, and that's it. Um, I don't know why it's three turns, because it, it's priority, so it should be four turns? Because other, I mean, cloak, I guess, I guess with this one you get an extra turn, I suppose. Um, the cleansing impact is really good, because that's 1.5, and you just, you know, if you're slow or your, well, damage is down, I suppose you need that cleansing impact, because you're not immune. Ooh, here we go! One handler called the Indoraptor, the stealth fighter jet of dinosaurs. This member of the Chimerida family is extremely intelligent and can echolocate. Again, it's a shame we didn't really see that in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I mean, it, you saw it sort of moving around at night, but you it would be so cool. Also, at the same time, it would sound a bit like Predator, wouldn't it? It was just like making those clicking sound <laughs> effects. But it would have been really cool to have seen its, you know, echolocation in full swing. But it's just a bit of lore, I suppose. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, we got Indoraptor. Yes! I'll see you later. Bye-bye.